Hi guys, so as the whole COVID situation continues, we still can't travel outside of WA, but that's fine, there's still a lot to see here. So this weekend, Australia Day weekend, we're heading off to Katani. What's going on, Beth? What are we doing? Giant ram. Wage and known for giant ram. Known for giant rams. <laughs> so this is tiny little, I was gonna say town, but it's basically not more than a service station, and known as Arthur River. A couple of historical buildings. There's quite a lot of historical buildings, so the Arthur River town site is probably more a historical site than anything else. And I think that's it. Yep, we're back into the 110 zone. And here we are driving into Gdanik and there's an adult playground here. <laughs> We're definitely going to be checking that out. There it is. Find some way to park. Looking forward to our stay at the Premier Mill Hotel here in Katanning. This hotel is of historical significance to the whole town and region of Katanning. Built in 1891, this former flour mill has now been reborn as luxury boutique accommodation. If you'd like to see more about the hotel, click on our link above to see our full video. As it turns out, I left some medication at home which I need to take every day. So we're going to go to Albany to get some. <laughs> it's a couple of hours drive to Albany, but it's a gorgeous spot. So we get to show you a little bit of Albany as well. Let's go. town that we come to is Cranbrook and Cranbrook is yet another place Greg lived. <laughs> Tour of Greg's former homes. <laughs> Greg's father was a country policeman so they got moved around to lots and lots of different country towns. When were you in Cranbrook babe? Eh? Probably about 73. What is it? Oh it's a shearing person. Hey, that's pretty cool. Just had to get some footage of this uh, little sculpture here. It's very, very cool. <laughs> so someone's been very clever. Shearing man. So that was the way Greg used to walk to school, through that alley. So what, that house, or do you reckon? That house, yes. Ah, oh, it is that house. Those buildings were the lock-up. Yeah, the lock-up. Ah. And so what, this was the police station? This was our house. And there's a little built-on bit on the veranda. That bit. 
that enclosed it there. Yeah. Right on the corner. Yep. That was the police station. Wow. And now we can imagine five-year-old Greg running around. Yes. And this was where you first went to school? Yeah. Cranbrook Primary School. Yeah. Wow, so you were pretty close. I mean, it's not like you had to walk far. Well, that's I was going to say, as, as a five-year-old. <laughs> really hasn't changed that much. <laughs> so that was cool. We just got to meet the people who live in the house that Greg used to live in. The, um, the lady there did actually know that it was a police station because when she got here from New Zealand, she actually got her licence at that building. So she did know that it was a police station. And now she owns it. Now she owns it. <laughs> here we are in Albany. Three hours drive later. It's not quite three hours. Well, it's not supposed to be, but we did stop at Cranbrook on the way. <laughs> Gotta find some food now. Can you remember the last time you were in Albany, babe? No. <laughs> Long time ago. Albany is one of the oldest towns in um, WA, so there's a lot of history here. Yeah. So sitting here on the 24th of January, so smack bang in the middle of Australian summer, and it's about 23 degrees with a strong breeze, and it's beautiful. I'm so in my element. <laughs> That's Albany for you. Yeah, it's always cool down here. I think we need to move here. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights Won't stop the traffic lights So we're at the Gap in Albany. Look at the colour of that. It's amazing. Welcome to the Gap. <laughs> Probably can't hear me over the wind and everything else. It's pretty spectacular. Pretty cool. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You definitely don't want to be in that water. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. I'm being really, really loud because we didn't bring our new chat again and it's really windy. Katanning is thought to come from an Aboriginal word, Katanning, meaning big meeting place. Quite a nice building, but it definitely looks a bit older. Katanning is also home to immigrants from over 40 different nations, with migrants being attracted to the welcoming and hospitable nature of the town. Not a nice building. Needs a bit of work to it. And there it is. It's got a face staring at us. Peace, there he is. Been immortalised in a bronze statue. 
as the founder of Catanning. Catanning boasts many claims to fame and is known for its many firsts. The first electric streetlights in WA, the first roller flour mill in WA, the first country house with hot and cold running water, Kubelia House. And if you'd like to see more on Kubelia House, just click in the link above for our full video. A grand old building. It have been a pub hotel back in the day. It's been converted down the bottom there for shops. Quite um, fancy and ornate. Pretty run down. So this one looks very similar to one that was in Kulgari. Well, so you've got to have closed-in shoes. Oh, I do have closed-in shoes in the car. We could go on the train. Yeah, I think we better. Yeah. <laughs> got a steam train with steam. That's a beautiful little thing. It's called Heidi. Heidi. Heidi is Thomas's cousin. <laughs> oh, this steam is so cold. Oh, right. Take off. Hey, there's a stowaway. Oh. Down you come. take two because I messed up the last one I didn't video it properly so now 
I'm gonna have to do it again. And here we go. Greg's peering through. <laughs> So as we head home from another adventure, keep an eye out for upcoming videos. We may not be travelling so much for a little while as we're going to be moving house, but thinking we might do a little blog on that.